When John Basso first opened the Heart Attack Grill, he had no idea that serving the world's unhealthiest menu would come with so much controversy. Countless lawsuits, an avalanche of bad press, and multiple heart attacks on the premises. Prior to opening the Heart Attack Grill in 2005, Basso owned three different Wait. exercise gyms over a 12 year period where he'd advise clients on their diet. I think this is like some Vegas, um, like bullshit. Right, it's, 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 the whole point is that it's like extravagant and super greasy and like, you know, like, it's the whole point. Terry and exercise needs, as well as on techniques of caloric reduction. However, he felt this was me, an untruthful me, line of work stating, well, let's, 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 it's let's, let's, disgusting. Let's, let's, let's Chad, this is a, Chad, this is Sunny DQ, YouTuber. We're, we're doing a live reacting of, of Sunny V2 live YouTube video. And here's the link in the chat. because you're promising people things that are outside their genetic possibility. Instead of being a slimy, crooked, dishonest peddler of health and fitness services, I would actually launch a hamburger concept that would be absolutely honest, and that's the only guiding principle. Hey, this is bad for you, and it's gonna kill you. The first heart attack grill in Arizona featured a front door sign well, that's, reading, that's good, caution, no? this establishment is bad for your health, before they'd later add cash only because you might die before the check clears. Inside, they'd proudly display the catchphrase, taste worth dying. Dying for. However, the most insane piece of signage was without a doubt this reading. Yes, I know, I know everybody knows this already, chat, but I mean, on, on paper, like, that's the best. Like, is, isn't, isn't this a reality for most fast food, fast food spots? They just don't tell you. That's just kind of how it goes, like anyone over 350 pounds eats for free all day, every day, unlimited, with the only rules being no taking food to go, no sharing with others, and does not include beverages. Although this wasn't the only unlimited service offered by the restaurant. Instead of a salad bar, there's an all you can eat flatliner fries bar. To serve the free meals, Basso took a tip from Hooters by hiring a bunch of sexy Ew. nurses, with I mean, a theme uh, of honesty also extending into the job application process, with questions such as whether the application has an in your Audi belly button, who would they have a hot one night stand with, their opinion on certain conspiracy theories, and a comment stating, no one gives a damn about your academic achievements, but if you want to bore us with them, go right ahead. As the head of the restaurant, John spends every day dressed as a doctor, stating, we promote nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, fat, cholesterol, sodium, all the building blocks of a quality, healthy, good time, with these insane statements leading to his first appearance on a local news station. There is yeah, a restaurant in Tampa where the food is so rich they call their big burger the quadruple bypass. Not everybody thinks that's funny, least of all the Arizona Board of Nursing. The news story then stated that the American Nursing Board had received five or six complaints about them calling their waitresses nurses. However, five or six complaints was a small what? price to pay, given the story was basically free advertising. All right, so if you want to bypass, of course, the good kind, now you know where to go. It's called the Heart Attack Grill. This then turned into further news coverage, where John explained the other ways what? in which the restaurant might kill you. We don't do Diet Coke. We don't do light beers. We don't even provide lettuce on our burgers. With the unique approach based on all of their competitors. John, this is creating a firestorm. I have a feeling this is just what you wanted. Well, I can't say that I don't enjoy the publicity. It definitely does pack the seats in the restaurant. We've been so lucky as of recently, our web traffic exceeds McDonald's.com. After noticing the media stories help the business grow, that attempt to set the Guinness World Record for the world's unhealthiest burger, achieving such with the 9,982 calorie quadruple bypass well, burger, insane. although this gluttonous piece of food would be served with a side of tragedy. The Heart Attack Grill had introduced a spokesperson named Blair River, who at 6'8", 570 pounds, appeared in all of the restaurant's ads. I'm up another few inches. Who needs these old pants? I could eat for free. In a 2011 news report, Blair talked about feeling incredibly healthy. This is good stuff. Everyone to be modern size like myself. However, he passed away before the interview even aired. Sadly, we now know how long that was. Blair died last week at the age of 29. His family says the cause of death was pneumonia. Even in death, the Heart Attack Grill maintained their brutally honest branding. Had he Wait, wait, were people mad at the grill about that? Like pneumonia, brother, brother, I think every like respiratory and a heart thing is harsher on your body when you are obese. Right? It's just kind of how it goes. I don't think eating dinner once or twice is like the instant factor that just makes you die. You, you cannot get a heart attack like that. That's just not how that works. Like a lot of things will, can cause it. Been thinner, uh, based on your circumstances. probably would have survived that pneumonia. Aren't you glorifying 
obesity, which Ab obviously kills. Absolutely. With Basso taking the glorifying obesity? That's what society does these days. Wait. My brother, my brother, what the fuck? Uh this even further in a different interview. If they He's accusing him of doing the, the the correct daily take, the correct take these days. He's accusing him of doing the virtuous thing. Do die here? I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. Death is great for business at the Heart Attack Grill. Although the media's goal of discrediting Whoa. the founder only did the opposite. It's actually refreshing to see someone so painfully honest. The owner is great. He makes no apologies nor should. It may be out of context or not. Maybe I think he means death as a concept, not death as the person dying, but I don't know. He. You can't blame him for people doing this to themselves. Uh. It's impossible to hate this guy because he's being 100% honest. In a different interview, Basso showed his more compassionate side by stating, Cynical people might think this, Riva's death, is funny, but people who knew him are crying their eyes out. There is a lot of mourning going on around here. You couldn't have found a better person. Even if he was skinny, we would have given him the job. We would have just put a fat suit on him. He just had personality, as did the restaurant's next spokesperson, Ernie Hart, who wouldn't last long either, or though for a slightly different reason. In October 2011, Basso moved the restaurant to the land of indulgence, pleasure, and poor short-term choices, Las Vegas. Vegas. The new and improved restaurant featured a public electronic cattle scale, as well as new signage reading, fighting anorexia since 2005, and send hate mail to, followed by their address. The new location also led to a brand new slogan, Remember, the calories you eat in Vegas stay in Vegas as well as an instant increase in business. Well, We've both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage. However, the craziest change was without a what, doubt what their that? menu. Despite their quadruple bypass already- Guys, what was- wait, sorry, chat, I can't reach my what was that? hate mail to followed by their address. The new location also led to a brand new slogan. Remember, the calories you eat in Vegas- Why did it do that? Stay in Vegas. As well as an instant increase in business. We've both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage. However, the craziest change was without a doubt their menu. Despite their quadruple bypass already holding the record for the highest calorie burger, the Heart Attack Grill then doubled their invention, creating the Octuple Bypass Burger, which featured eight patties, 40 pieces of bacon, and 19,900 calories. At around the same point in time, the Heart Attack Grill updated their website to include Nobody, free video and images for nobody cares though dude you can you can go to fucking you can go to mcdonald's and ask for eight fucking big macs and it'll amount to a lot of calories it's not because you have an item that's this nobody can even fucking eat that dude. the press where the motivation for the octuple bypass burger became pretty obvious they were trying to generate media attention and this is exactly what they got the new burger led to over a hundred million views worth of exposure on youtube as different content creators visited the restaurant to see if they could eat it those who could, such as Matt Stoney, were given a ride out of the restaurant in a novelty wheelchair, although there were others who were forced to leave in an ambulance. Jesus a customer Christ, the heart attack grill was rushed to the hospital after eating a sandwich called the Triple Bypass Burger. In February 2012, oh an article was God. published titled, Man Has Heart Attack While Eating at the Heart Attack Grill, which is followed by another article only two- What a stupid way of reporting something, dude. Brother, after eating a burger- Brother, brother, brother. You can have you can have a heart attack at a million events if you're predisposed for for that to happen. It's just like months later, eating a salad and heart attack grill lives up to its name again this week when a woman collapsed in their Las Vegas restaurant. This marks the second person to fall victim to their horrifically caloric food in less than a year. With a heart attack grill response, guys, if anything, if anything, the worst thing you could do is probably eat a pizza. Okay, to get a heart attack. I'm sure that the, the oil raises like blood pressure and shit. It gives you heartburn and then can increase your chance. Like, it's just, just gonna how it is. Like, in the most brand appropriate way by bragging about it the on grace? their website. Two ambulance well, departures too, I in guess. less it's than 60 it's days it's left an indelible mark on the Heart Attack Grill's public image. Dumb, Dr. Though. John delivered a clear message to the media that such tragedy shall inevitably continue due to having clientele which he refers to as being the avant-garde of nutritional risk takers. Did that heart attack pad my wallet with money? Absolutely. Did I enjoy that? Absolutely. Although this is still nothing compared to what would 
happen one year Gee, later. Okay, going, the heart attack relied on a new unofficial there. spokesperson named John Alleman, who was recognized as the restaurant's most loyal customer. He never missed a day, even on Christmas, Basso said. People just loved him. He connected with people in a real way, although all of this changed on the 11th of February 2013. After chowing down on his daily feed at the grill, John Alleman suffered a heart attack and died while waiting for the bus at the front of the store. This led to Basso's craziest PR stunt to date. They'll say it's grotesque. They'll yes, say, how, they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? With Basso keeping the cremation inside the restaurant as he wants you to know his food kills so that maybe you'll stop eating junk. This man is willing to sacrifice his reputation and maybe even his humanity to try and make the world a healthier place. I respect him for it. Basso believes- I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna pull a bag of money and he's like, this is, how, this is what I did to my restaurant. I make money. He pulled his ashes out? The restaurant helps customers to reflect on their own choices, having stated anybody who's over 350 pounds gets on that scale. We applaud them like the big sumo wrestler they are, treat them like a champ, make them feel good for that moment, give them free food all they want. But these people go home at night and they ponder that and say, wow, why did I just get free food and have the whole restaurant applauding for me? Because I'm a freak, plain and simple, before adding, I'm running an obesity intervention and I think it works. I really do. Everybody should check out our Facebook and see a lot of people say, hey, Dr. John, I've lost 82 pounds since the last time I was in. It's the X Factor, something that snapped in that person that said, wow, I'm going to make a change in my life, and they did, and that's fabulous, with this sentiment also showing up in the YouTube comments. The Heart Attack Grill restaurant has motivated me to take care of myself, stick to my diet. The namesake restaurant actually sends a very positive message. If you don't take care of yourself today, you might find yourself eating a free meal at my restaurant in the not-so-distant future, because everyone over 350 pounds eats for free, and therefore Basso believes the restaurant is an overall positive. I am a believer that when people hear my message, the net health benefit to society is incredibly good. It's a little far-fetched, but I could see. Good. However, you won't be surprised to hear that not everybody agrees. He's deliberately trying to get people to eat more than they need. With this being echoed by the legendary Anthony Bourdain, who stated... Wait. People to eat more than they need. With this... Brother, brother, that's just America's restaurants and fast food. If you eat, if, okay, okay, listen, let me, l l l let me tell you this. If you order normal size, like the all mediums or all normal size meals, anywhere you eat in America, you are fat as fuck and you are dying. You are literally setting yourself up to die if you eat normal portions as they sell them. Chat, don't be a bitch and tell me you finish, you finish your drink and you finish your fries. You do not finish your drink fries and sauce. And if you do, well, you're fat as fuck. I, I, I don't have to tell you. Okay. And her saying this, well, that's just, a, that's just America though. Like they incentivize you to, 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 to eat that much. It's a, it's a, it's much food. It's much drinks all the time. More than they need. With this being echoed by the legendary Anthony Bourdain, who stated, There is a restaurant in Vegas, I think it's called the Heart Attack Grill, where if you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free. I think that should be pretty much a war crime. On top of this, a former waitress went public, talking about her terrible time working at the restaurant, explaining that after a man passed out mid-meal, a manager made me take out my cell phone to record a video of the whole thing so they could send it to the media. It was on a Friday afternoon, and he hoped it would make the news so they could have a busy weekend. On the opposite Opposite end of the spectrum, a different waitress stated this. I've been here 11 years. I, 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 I enjoy this way too much. So the experience clearly depends on which person you ask. In a different instance, the PCRM sent a letter to Basso asking him to declare moral bankruptcy and close the heart attack grill. However, given the restaurant earned five and a half million in revenue last year, it seems obvious that Dr. John Basso and the heart attack grill won't be going anywhere anytime soon. That's nice, though. Well, I just know a lot of the complaints are things that, that could apply to a bunch of bunch of places, a bunch of workplaces, or whatever. Like the actual the actual health complaints are not even valid. I mean, they're valid, I guess, but they're not not any more or less than any other restaurants or fast food in, in general.